Hi, this is Jeff Russo of the Gilson Engineering Office in Charleston, West Virginia, and for the next few minutes we're going to be taking a look at the features of the Siemens PS2 Valve Positioner. The PS2 uses a unique pulsed air design to deliver air to the actuator. Unlike most other conventional positioners, which have a flow of air all the time. This means that on average, the PS2 consumes 85% less air to do the same job as a conventional valve positioner. The PS2 can be configured in a matter of minutes with the push buttons on the front of the unit. All you need to do is tell the PS2 three things, whether the valve is rotary or rising stem, if you're using the standard or special short stroke setting, and for rising stem applications, the length of the feedback arm. The PS2 does the rest. It automatically finds the end stops of the actuator, sets the electronic range accordingly, checks for leaks in the tubing and actuator, and then goes into run mode. Once calibrated for the valve, the PS2 can easily be set up to perform special functions for control applications like split ranging, reversing the valve action, or limiting the stroke. You can configure settings for your particular needs once the initial setup is done. For safety related applications, the PS2 can perform periodic partial stroke testing to ensure that the valve is ready to act when your safety system tells it to. For high pressure drops across the valve, you can activate the trim saver feature, which prevents wire drawing and damage to trim on valves as they approach the closed position. The PS2 can be configured in at least three different ways. You can configure the unit with a heart handheld communicator. You can also use our PDM software package, which lets your laptop configure any heart protocol device on the market for under $500. But the simplest way to configure the PS2 is with the push buttons on the front of the unit and your two fingers. Over 100 different mounting kits are available to allow the PS2 to mount on your control valve. If there's a valve out there, chances are we've put a PS2 on it. Want 4 to 20 milliamp feedback for true valve position or limit switches that are completely isolated and independent of the current loop? How about an override input to force the positioner to a given position, such as in a combustion control system? The PS2 has expansion slots to accommodate these boards, which will give you the functionality you want. The PS2 is available in Class 1 Division 2 configurations as a non-incentive device and also has approvals as intrinsically safe, including applications where natural gas is used instead of compressed air. Those are some of the key features of the PS2. For more details, contact your local Gilson Engineering office and ask for a demonstration of the Siemens PS2 valve positioner.